Hi, this is Dana Linton for Novels Alive, and today I have C.H. Admirand, and an another one of my favorite people. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and you write romance. Yes. And right now you're doing a cowboy series. Mm -hmm. So I know Tyler came out already, but you're going to have Dylan come out in January. Yes. So tell us a little bit about this series. I, I know the Tyler one, so but tell the readers about that. Actually, the idea started at RT in Houston. And a very good friend of mine writes for Alora's Cave, and she said, you know, we should go support the Alora's Cave models. And I was like, oh, sure, you know, anything to support an author. I have no idea where we were going. She said, let's go to a local club. I'm like, sure, let's go. It sounded fine. We get there, and I realize, oh, I'm talking to a man behind the desk, and he had no shirt on. I was like, okay, so it's an interesting club. And then he stepped out from behind, and I was like, I am definitely not old enough to be here. It was like, I, I don't get out much, so it was like kind of a surprise. I'm like, maybe we're at a strip club. Okay, news flash. I should have paid attention when they were talking. I was in my own world. And uh, I was so embarrassed, and she's like, let's get a table up front. I'm like, oh, yes, let's. <laughs> so we go to the table up front. I'm so embarrassed. And all of a sudden, one of the dancers comes out, and he's got chaps and a boots and a hat and these little black spandex. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was like, why would a cowboy be up on stage like that? Because he really did look like one. I'm like, well, he's going to save the ranch. Why does he have to save the ranch? I'm like, oh, this is great. My mind is going, and I'm really here, but not here. And it just, like, one thing happened into the next. I'm like, okay, because he's going to save the ranch that's been in the family for 150 years. So inspiration came from a strip club. Of all things, Imagine which I've that. Ne never <laughs> been to before. And actually, there's quite a few things that could be inspirational in a strip club, but I mean, uh, yeah. it was just like... It was, if I had been prepared, it might not have been such, <laughs> such a shocker. <laughs> but it was, it was definitely interesting. And my friend said the best part about going was the look on my face. I'm like, thanks, thanks. You know who your friends oh, are. Oh, I bet. <laughs> you know, she really thought it was funny. Yeah, we went to Chippendales, and I know some of my friends that are just super conservative, it was... And see, that's headlights. what I was expecting, because I'd seen them on TV. You know, they had those cute little cuffs and the collar yeah. and the great, you know, long black pants, and they usually had great, you know, pecs and everything, but pants on were kind of, like, nice. Oh, that, that was just so awful for you. It was very embarrassing. My husband thinks it's hysterical. Oh, I bet. He really does, because I told him when we killed, never believe <laughs> And now your kids will know. Oh, they think it's hysterical. They're like, mm, what were you thinking, Mom, that's, like, not like you? I'm like, well, yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> I love shocking our kids. You know, I usually it's it. the other way around. Well, that's think? true. Commercial usually, but when I can, you know, repay them and do a little bit of shocking stuff too, you know, yeah, I love it. Like, yeah, payback. Paybacks. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of children, you yes. are going to be a first-time grandma. Grandmother, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Our daughter in October. So, like I was telling Dana before, do you know what you want to be called? I don't know. So I'm trying to decide, Graham, Grandma. It's really yeah, we, exciting. We both share in this. Yes. We're both going to be first time, first -time grandmas. grandmas. So excited. You're way too young. To I know. Grandma. I was 13 yeah. when I had her. I was, yeah, maybe yeah. 14. I 14, think next year I'll be 12 when oh. I have her. <laughs> I've got to stay at 39, age 39. Oh, gosh, I'd have to do the math to get that far back. Oh, I, I've got work it. On it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I figured it. You figured yeah, it I was 13 out. when I had her. <laughs> Precocious. Yes. It's still really. adorable. Very, yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty exciting. And it I mean, is. your books are so much fun. And oh, you're getting thanks. great reviews. I'm getting very interesting reviews. I've had some really great ones. And then... Not so much? Well, yes, it's very interesting. Everybody has an opinion, and I think that's great. And everybody's definitely entitled to their opinion. But I'm not really a fan of posting DNFs, you know, to, if you race... If you like race cars, you know, or into NASCAR's DNF is it did not finish. <laughs> oh. I was like, ouch. But, you know, everybody's, you know, free speech. Everybody can say, you know, not everybody's going to love you. And, you and know, it's okay. It's okay. I just wish that wasn't the most recent review at Amazon. But what are you going to do? Get your friends to post it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I hadn't thought of that. But, yes, I've had some really, really good reviews. You have. The ones that I've read have been really, yeah. really great. It's really exciting. And that the series is fun. You know, it was really, it's a lot of fun to write, too, because, you know, I like to take my men and get them into trouble and see how far I can take them before they'll, like, holler uncle. Like, my characters will be like, okay, that's it. I'm not doing any more. Dylan is fun because it opens up where he's filling in for Tyler, and it's the last night. He's only doing it for three nights, and his job is the birthday girl is supposed to feel very special because it's a woman's club run by women. So um, he, her friends came up with this idea they're going to lasso her. But she goes in, a blonde brunette and a redhead walk into a bar. 
And what's different about the brunette is that it's the blindfold. So she's blindfolded walking into the bar and he lassos her as they're whipping the blindfold off her and it's like totally like, yeah, it's really good. It was a lot of fun to write. So I get him in a lot of trouble. Well, and you, I know you've got Irish heritage, as mm -hmm. do I, and you have a lot of recipes mm -hmm. that you have Irish, real Irish recipes. Yep. And you write some books about your Irish, well, not necessarily your heritage, but speaking yeah. of um, things in Ireland, and that's really fun. Yeah, it is. I like to include it in most of my books because I figured, you know what, it's everybody has their own niche and what they like to write, and I like to include my heritage in there. And yeah, I've got a great butter cake recipe and scone recipe that I have in some of my books. I kept your scone recipe. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's I really, love you know, and it's so easy to make too. But it's yeah. really impressive when you have that whipped cream and like the fresh Yum. raspberries on them. It really, really helps you lose weight. Yeah, those carbs because there's heavy cream <laughs> in the scones. So yeah, definitely butter. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, oh, Colleen. I you. love having you here. I had a great time. Thanks. thanks.